um sorry for the delayed start everyone um we had a little bit of trouble with our um uh battery on the uh on the camera so um i've just had a little bit of a mad panic trying to get it all set up and um, we'd actually unplugged the um the the camera from the um from the pc which keeps it regularly charged up and we'd forgotten to plug it back in so that was our bad so yeah so we've um so i've just been trying to get it all plugged back in and charged up a little bit so that we could um so that we could go live and um i am hoping 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 that um there is enough charge there now for it to um, continue throughout. It should charge um, as we record, so we should be good to go. But um, just in case anything does happen, um, I apologise in advance. <laughs> and we will try and get back if we possibly can. So, that being said, um, I am just going to double check that everything is live and that you guys can see me. So bear with me a second while we do the usual checks. Yes, I think we're, we're on there, which is good. Um, I noticed last week it seemed a little bit dark, the video. I think it seems a little bit brighter today. I'm hoping that that's, um, that's the case and you guys can all see me well enough. Um, it always looks, um, looks okay on Facebook, but sometimes doesn't look as bright on um, YouTube for some reason I'm not sure why that would be but um, there we have it so um, hello there wild spider designs is there hello how are you long time no see um, and hello to Annalisa as well um, so yeah we'll just give you guys a little bit of a chance to um, to to join me um, while I take a little breath because whew, that's been a bit of an effort, to be honest with you. Um, and I'm having a day today, so I'm really glad you guys are here because um, I am in the middle of preparing for... It looks great. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Um, I am, um, like I say, I'm, I, when I look at things back, I think, oh, does it look dark? Does it look clear? Um, we have had problems with cameras in the past where it's been a bit blurry. Um, but we seem to be good to go so that's awesome so I am absolutely um, knee deep in prep for um, TV on Sunday hobby maker TV um, appearance this weekend so we will be on hobby maker at three o'clock on Sunday and um, I've got something a bit different planned this this time around. Something a bit more. I think it's probably it's taking me out of my comfort zone a little bit, which is probably why I'm um, I'm hitting a bit of a creative block. I think that's what it what it is, um, because I know it's going to be a little bit more challenging for me. Um, so it's making me a little bit I don't know a bit resistant to um, to actually being creative so i'm trying to power through when i get into these kind of situations um i'm a little bit like well just do something because as long as you do something then something usually comes from something um so whereas if you do nothing obviously you're not you'll create nothing so that's a very my very simple brain works that way so I've just been powering through and I've been doing a little bit of preparation. So I'll show you what I've got to so far. These are the two um, stamp sets that we're going to be taking onto the show. The Sweet Village stamp set and then the um, Cool Critters stamp sets. So um, if you're a long time um, follower of Time for Tea, these won't be new to you. However, the prices that we're bringing them to you on Sunday will be new to you. So if you don't already have them in your collection, then it might be worth um checking it out and grabbing them as part of that the great thing about hobby maker is they have um a one day pmp um situation so if you buy something from us something from a different um 
company throughout the day at different times of the day you might you know check out five times that day but they will only charge you one pmp which is really cool so um so yeah so you might find bargains with other companies not just ours while you're doing your shopping on sunday so um annalisa's saying can't wait to see you this sunday's ant on this time so Ant probably won't be with us this time because like i said i'm doing something a little bit different something a bit more probably a bit more advanced um and we've done um we've done the kind of new crafter thing a couple of times so we thought maybe we leave that um a couple of months until we do that again just so that people don't get bored with us doing the same thing and like i say i wanted to do something a little bit different this time so i've already stamped um stamped some of the um images from this set and i am going to um you're going to help me today basically basically what i'm doing is i am multitasking <laughs> is what i'm doing so you guys are going to help me prepare for the show you're going to help me prepare some of my boards and what um maybe one of my demos depending on how we go for time because i am probably going to have to sign off at some point to crack on and get things done i have today to get everything prepped um because there won't be time tomorrow for me to prep um so yeah today is my one opportunity really to get everything done so Ah, <laughs> so yeah so that's why i'm feeling the pressure as well because obviously i'm not feeling as creative as i wanted to so the boards that i've already prepared so um and this is where it is going to be a little bit different to what we've done before um is i am taking a bit of construction with me and this is freaking me out i'm not gonna lie so um so you know if you want to see a laugh um, then you know tune in and watch me mess this up probably because like I say I don't normally do die construction on air because you don't get very long you get you know a maximum say of maybe 12 minutes to do a demonstration and that is a lot of pressure to put together something like this so this is the box clever die again if you're um a long-term um follower of time t you will see you will have seen this die before um but you won't have seen it at this price this configuration thank you <laughs> bless you um so um terry's saying that um i've got this and uh, our shows are always fab that's very sweet thank you very much um i'm not sure if that's true but, <laughs> but you know i try my best that's all you can do is try your best and i'm just when when we're on and um you know when aunt's been on with me um it is a case of we i can only be me and we can only do be ourselves so everything we talk about is you know it comes from the heart because we are time for tea and time for tea is us so um so yeah so we're just very honest about everything and yeah we, i can only be myself um which you know myself i i make i make mistakes and we do things wrong don't we so um, but we try and get prepared as much as possible and I do put myself under a lot of pressure to get things absolutely spot on and to do something that people are going to enjoy watching so that they want to, to tune in and watch more so like I say that being said we are going to try this so this is the board that I've put together for the box clever die so that's one that we've already put together we're also going to um be taking on a couple of stencils again these stencils will probably be familiar to you so this is a board I've put together for the confetti stencil and I've done um the positive and negative this time on this one because somebody did mention this to me a long time ago that um I always do the kind of the positive but then I don't use the ink that is on the stencil to create another pattern so I've done that here and I really love how that turned out so I think I might re try and recreate that because um, I think that looks really sweet I think that would make a really nice background for one of my demos so I might try that because I think that's really nice and then um, we've also got the simple stripes so I've shown how the simple stripes can be done in two different ways um, 
Annalisa says, could you partially put some of it together beforehand, maybe pre adhere the two big box pieces so hard with only 12 minutes? Yeah, so um, Annalisa, that's exactly how we do it, is that we prepare probably um, in maybe three parts. Um, so I'll have one that's, you know, not constructed, one that's part constructed and then one that's fully constructed. <laughs> so um, that's what makes the preparation so time consuming because you're you're essentially deconstructing whatever your end result would be um so that when you go on television you've already got bits of it that are already done for you so it's it's very um it's a very particular kind of preparation um that uh, yeah that i don't know as you find very often anywhere else i suppose but um yeah it is peculiar to demonstrating i suppose on tv um that's why you have all the kind of the blue peter moments whereas here's one we've prepared earlier because um there isn't time for you to do the whole thing like we do on um a live here so so these are the two um the two other boards that i've done i've also got in here um which i haven't done on a board but i did take this to a previous show so what i might do is i might pop this on a blackboard like this um not obviously not this size maybe an a4 size so i've got an a4 size piece of card here and i might pop that on there just so that you've got that as again as something to show the different sizes of the square label dies um i love the the effect of this because if it, it's very um it's almost three well it is 3d i guess but it's it's it looks like it's more um in a pyramid shape than it actually is it's actually very very flat as you can see there but when you um, when you see it this way, it looks like it's raised up in the middle. It's, it's an optical illusion. So that's three of my boards there. I'm gonna pop them to one side, and then I'll um, I will just adhere this one onto here because that will be rather helpful. Um, while I've been doing this, because I have been so um, just hitting a hitting a block and being a little bit. Um, I suppose a bit hitting that that creative block and just being a bit low on energy i have made my way through an entire bag of like little jelly gummies um which i'm not impressed about because that is not good is it to be eating a full bag of uh, of sweets when um especially when we were aunt and i were both trying to be quite good um, and that has totally ruined that idea so I'm just going to use my little my ruler here just to help me guide that to be as straight as possible so we'll just pop that on there and that is board number three finished so that's that's good so it, that's this is what I mean. Sometimes you just have to do something, don't you? And then once you've done something, you feel like you're getting somewhere. So the next board that I want to do is I want to do my um, my little uh, stamped images. So there are two sets of stamps that I'm taking to the show. As I mentioned, there's the cool critters, which I've done here. And there is, um, bear with me... The Sweet Village, which I know the Sweet Village is one of your favourites, Annalisa. I know you like this one. Marie, hello from um, PA in the USA. Where? What part of the USA does PA stand for? I'm sorry, I don't know what that stands for. I'm trying to think in, uh, with my very limited knowledge what that could be. Apologies for not knowing. <laughs> so sorry just having a little drink of water um so i think what i'll do like i say is i will probably die cut these and stick these down and then um we will i will i'm, I'm tempted to try and get at least one demo under my belt during this live i think that would be really helpful so i will color these ones in later we'll have these ones ready and then I will 
um, have a go at putting together one demo using these these little critters I think then I'll feel like I'm, I'm getting somewhere or actually I might do a demo with the um, the little houses with that background that I spoke about because I think that would look quite nice as well um, with the um, square label dies so yes so we we could do that as well so let's make a start on this bit because this is like I say when you're a little bit stuck for something to do it's um you just have to do something don't you and then uh, it should all start to come together so we're going to die cut these with my little die cutting machine um pennsylvania i wanted to say pennsylvania but i thought i'd be wrong so i was uh, yeah i was reluctant to sound like a fool uh, if i said it really so welcome um and um oh i feel like i need to stick that together that's going to annoy me i feel like i'm procrastinating here does anybody do this when you're not really sure what to do so you procrastinate a little bit and i've also run out of sellotape so that's helpful isn't it thankfully i do have some more <laughs> um so julie hello julie julie says hope you're feeling better may not be able to watch it all has got a walking netball fundraiser to go to um as helping organize to get there but uh, you're helping to organize so you need to get there a bit early oh well that sounds like an amazing thing to be getting involved with so but i appreciate you popping on to say hello um and saying hello to uh, tony and annalisa as well um annalisa saying her husband and um, you went to pittsburgh once i'm, I'm assuming that pittsburgh is in pennsylvania <laughs> this is where my um my, my knowledge of uh, of the us is uh, is being exposed as being very very limited um and i would i've been to america uh, once um i would love to go back my mum and dad have been a couple of times and i would love to go back um i would love to go to creativation one year but i think that's probably going to be a little bit beyond our budgets um, but we I would love to go back to America um, in the future. Um, obviously, I think like a lot of us in the UK, we grow up our, um, with a lot of American culture in our TV, um, very influenced by American culture. And uh, yeah, it's, um, it's definitely uh, somewhere that I would love to explore more of for definite. And Ant's never been, so um, I would love to go with him one day. So right, let's now we've now we've procrastinated with our sellotape. Let's work go on to something else. Um, <laughs> and Lisa says she procrastinates all the time, and she so loves the little die cutting machine. One day you will have to get one. Yes, you will have to get one of these cute little machines. Um, I love mine; it's really good. Um, and Marie says, it's okay, Joe, I know next to nothing about other countries. We tend not to, do we? We know the main things. I mean, I think a lot of people around the world think that um, Sheffield is quite close to... Whenever we say, we, oh, we're from Sheffield in the UK, people say, oh, is that close to London? Um, and it's like, well, no, not really, but I understand why you, that, you, know, you would ask that because that's really the only place that anybody knows, isn't it, if you're not from the UK? Um... Although Sheffield has become more well known since the film The Full Monty. So if you've seen the film The Full Monty, which I know a lot of people will have, um, that's where I'm from. <laughs> Full Monty country, Full Monty land. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that tends to be the only reason people know where, where Sheffield is. <laughs> um, well, I'm just ch checking back over the, the names. Hubby and I will be going to see the pirates play sometime this summer i've never been there before oh i'm i'm assuming that's a is that a pittsburgh comment um, julie says i was hoping to craft today but not had motivation and trying to curl my hair has taken several hours plus had to charge your curler twice you have a lot of hair 
Um, I'm assuming I can't. I can't remember actually. Do you have? You do have a lot of hair, don't you? So I can imagine that um, taking a while. And I fancy having to charge your curler twice just to get your hair curled. Um, do you need a plug in? You just need it plugged in, don't you? I think. <laughs> um, and Lisa knows the feeling is wanting a mini die cutting machine. You often think about it too. You have to look out for the sales. Oh, Marie knows that Def Leppard came from Sheffield. That is very true. They did and do. They're not. They're still around, aren't they? They're still a thing. Um, yes, Def Leppard. That is a good shout. We're we're now all about the football teams and um, the soccer teams here in. Uh, I should say for for you Marie because um, football means something different doesn't it in your neck of the woods so we um yeah we're all we're a bit of a football um city uh, now um so we're a bit more known for that in this country um and Sean Bean who was in Game of Thrones um that could be one that you might know <laughs> if you were ever a Game of Thrones fan um so you know we get about a bit really say we're uh, just a a little um we were a little steel town back in the day a little working class town but um we always get overshadowed by leads which makes us very cross do you have like um any rivalry with um, other you know cities um, near you or would they be considered counties or states states wouldn't they um, that you are a rival with that you know like when you do have sporting events that you're like you don't want to come up against them because there'll be all kinds of all kinds of ruptions um, in the stands <laughs> Julie says her hair is really thick and she has it up all the time and Annalise says she didn't know that about Def Leppard there you go you see Marie knows she knows um and she's more of an outlander gal than a game of is that that instead of Game of Thrones I don't know outlander actually um and uh Annalisa says she also has extremely thick hair and used to get headaches from it so she cut her very sh hair very short how did you get headaches from it was it just because it was just so heavy when it was long um that's madness but you see you came up with a solution and you sorted it out Annalisa I love that so I'm I'm also having hair dilemmas because I'm at that point where my roots are showing um so if you know you know so my roots are showing i need to um have a have a quick appointment with my hairdresser to uh, to get that rectified before we go on tv because the likelihood is and again if you've watched before you will know this that um you know a lot of the a bit like here a lot of the work is done overhead well, I don't need an overhead shot of my roots, do I? So, um, so yes, yeah, so we need to get that sorted for definite. So that's uh, that's the plan for tomorrow afternoon. Although I've noticed that my appointment has changed, I think three times today. So that's sound. Um, so we we um, uh, those of you that have uh, have been around for the last couple of weeks will know that we um, Ant and I also run um, a hair and beauty salon uh in our uh in a village close to us um so um so yes yeah, so i will be having my hair done at our own salon tomorrow but we're testing out a new booking system so i've set myself up as a customer and every time your appointment changes you get a text message <laughs> so i've had i've had three text messages today now because i am the um obviously i'm the owner i can move my appointment because i'm not just a regular customer am i um so um if a if a regular customer can only come in at a certain time 
well then the instruction is move me because I don't mind when I have mine done. Um, I'll be in the salon anyway all day so um, you know I'd rather um, a proper customer get their hair done first. So um, so yeah so I, I've obviously been I've obviously been moved to the back of the queue. Um, um, Marie says her hair is fine. Mine is fine apparently but I have a lot of it and I also hold a lot of moisture in it which means it takes a lot longer to dry. That was what a hairdresser told me once and I it made sense because it does take forever to dry. Um, good thing I own a hair salon. Exactly, that's it. Um, it, it, it's a good thing and a, a bad thing because what I am finding is that, you know, I now I'm uh, having more, more things done <laughs> than I would normally. Um, you know, we're having, um, you think, oh, well, I might as well try that. Let's try that one out. Let's try that one out. And Ant is absolutely having, the you know, living his best life, having a different hairdo every week. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so that's quite funny. Um but yeah we are we're very much enjoying um being part of the team there and, and getting it all sorted and transformed but it's challenging having two businesses as you can imagine because you know there isn't a lot of spare time anyway running time for tea so now doing time for tea and managing a very very busy salon um it's uh, it's quite quite the handful but we are not complaining because we're loving it um it's uh, it's becoming you know what we what we wanted it to be so we've been in there for four months now so there's still a fair bit of work to do like i say we haven't even got the booking system sorted out but we are making progress. Um, Julie says she needs to get her hair dyed as the greys are showing. Well, this is my root situation, um, Julie, you see. <laughs> so that's why I need to get mine done because of my, my roots are showing. So um, this is um, so this is basically what I do just to prepare my boards for the show. So I just make a nice little layout with all of the stamps so that because there isn't an awful lot of time i don't often get to show how i color in any of the stamps and things so um and i think that when you see it colored in it makes more sense when you just see this so if i just show the stamp set on on air and go there you go look at that that's what you can buy it's been like oh well it's a stamp set what does you know what what really am i going to do with that Whereas if you see it coloured in, it brings it to life and um, hopefully people can imagine then what they might do with it. Um, so, and this is a really cute one for birthdays, this, I think. So, oh, I nearly put that one upside down. That would have been a bit silly. So, pop that one there. And actually, this one would make a really nice one with the confetti background because of the um, the birthday sentiments on this one. So I might do that, you know. Shall we do that? That could be my first my first little demo that we pop together. So this. I mean, this stamp set as well is always been a favourite because it's so cheerful. I love the little um, ice cream van. It's uh, a proper little retro van. The little critters are also cute. And the critters you can use on their own. You don't have to have the ice cream van. So it all depends on what you want to, um, what scene you want to create. But I think that's really cute. So think we'll uh, we'll leave that one to dry so there we go that's all our little critters on there with the um with the truck so and then when I color in my my little village 
my little village we can go on this side and then um, you'll see then on Sunday hopefully they will show this sometimes they don't show my boards and I think I've just spent hours making those and you've not even shown them so you'll have to look out and see if they show my board um, because I hope they do so I may have to colour in more of my little critters here because um, I'm thinking for this one I think I want to do that background with the confetti that we've just been talking about so I've got some bits of cardstock here I need to make a card base first so I'm going to use the um, these chaps here so I'm going to use these and I'm going to make a background um, and I think I think what I might do is how shall I how shall I play this how shall I play this I'm thinking I want to do yes I'm going to do my back my base in one color so let me think let me get my board out actually just let me go back to refer back to my board because I might do it in the same colors because these colours are all very kind of ice cream ice cream shades. So if I was to have that as my, my background, and then I've got some more, more of these guys coloured in on here. So say say I was to have a cool birthday would be a really nice little sentiment. So say I was to use some of these guys on the back of there. How adorable would that be? So what colour um, card base would you like? I think the pale pink is the one, isn't it? It's the pale pink going to be... Oh, that's going to be so pretty. I'm going to love that so much. So I'm going to use some of this, this lovely pale pink, I think. Um, oh, actually, this is perfect because it's a bit thicker than the other pink. Oh! I think it is. is that just or have I just doubled it up oh yeah that's beautiful beautiful so let's uh, let's figure this out between us I need some more pale pink cardstock I know that so um <laughs> Annalisa bless you you're so lovely um so I'm going to move this out of my way um, I'm, I'm going to show you what we were saying before Annalisa about how you kind of have to have pretty much two of everything um, now if I'm going to have my little characters having a little party here um, let me get the rest of them here they are so if they're going to be kind of having a party they're going to have a really cool little time I want them to be sat in um, one of these squares how big do I want it to be? I'm going to say I want it to be this size. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven into the middle. Two, four, six, seven. So that's kind of going to be my centerpiece, which I'm going to cut out of some of this lovely white, which I've already used, as you can see. So I'm going to cut two of these out of this white. So I'll just pop that one on there for now. And then if I'm going to do my card base, I want enough of a border. I want. Do I want a big border or do I want a little border? Let's have a look. Well, I think that sort of size is going to be quite a cute little card. Um, and then yeah as a little border and then let's see I think what about if we went that size and then would it be that size yeah let's do that so put that in there that in there so that would be my border around the um the confetti and then i'll perhaps do it on a white card base potentially 
decisions decisions I did like the idea of doing the um, the pink card base though and that's not mm, right okay I'm, I'm rethinking my rethinking here I might do this slightly larger So you really are coming with me on this uh, this journey. Um, that one or that one? Yeah, I'm going to go with that one, and I'm going to go with this one. Mm. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I had a moment there where I just had a little, where I was just having a little think, a little ponderment about, hmm, which way do I want to, which way do I actually want to do this? And I think I quite like, quite like that as a thing. That might be the way to go, possibly. So this is going to be my white bit again. Um, these two are going to create my my pink background. So that's going to be my pink background, and this is going to be my white card base. So let's go with this and see what happens as you help me put together. A little bit of um, a demo so a bit of pink cardstock a bit of white cardstock like so and then we need to pop this through our die cutting machine there we go so is everybody, um, what's everyone doing this Friday evening? Can't believe it's Friday already. The weeks do seem to fly by quite a bit. So, so this is going to be our our layer. Is it a mat or is it a layer? Mat and then a layer, isn't it? So we do this and this, like so, and then our little characters will sit on there, um, or that could go on there. So we could have gone a bit bigger there. Maybe. And then the thought was that that would then sit on a white card base. Like so. That's going to look very cute, isn't it? And could I get... Two. Oh, I can't quite get two out of that background, which is a shame. It's a real shame. And uh, and now I'm, I'm contemplating making this much bigger. Because that would be quite a good size to get this guy on there. Right, okay. Bear with me, everyone. Bear with while we have another re-jiggle. So... If we made that one the white card base, the next size up is that one, isn't it? Um, and then the size up after that, whoa, is there another one? Yes, is that one. Lovely. So, 
essentially that one, isn't it? That's right. So I think if we went for pink card base in this size, I think that would be bang on. And then we go for white in this one. Okay, back to the, back to the drawing board, people. So now you can see why this can sometimes take a bit more time because we have to test and we have to fail. <laughs> um, so thinking goddess, what says I will be watching craft roulette tonight live on YouTube tonight. It's my Friday night habit. Ah, so you're watching craft roulette? Is that um? So that's a that's a different channel. Um, that's uh, is that who's that with Craft Roulette? Um, so you have a, a full on crafty Friday evening by the sounds of things. I love that. I think that's so cool. What a way to spend a Friday evening. Um, so I'm just going to chop this one out. I'm going to cut these two out now. <laughs> so I might have to do this. Um, these might not both fit in the machine at the same time, but we'll have a go. Um, and then we'll have a go at making that background that we talked about. Um, so that you can see how I did that. And then, um, yeah, and then we'll, we'll have got more or less... An idea of what we're doing with our first demo so let's try these through the machine see if they work together just catching up on your comments marie says after hubby gets home from work we'll be going to a local home and garden show oh that sounds nice that sounds very interesting um, i love things like that you get so much inspiration going to places like that don't you um and uh, the inking inking garden spot I th am i saying that right the inking garden spot today <laughs> so tell us which part of the usa you're in um for me not to know where it is or anything about it <laughs> um but i'd love to know um and uh she says just made a card last night with one of our stamp sets that's amazing which stamp set was it and um it's on every friday night it's a live card crafting challenge based on four parameters chosen by the spin of the craft roulette wheel it's super fun with lots of industry guests and you're in North Carolina what is North Carolina best known for what is your like what is your signature thing that everybody says oh yeah that's South Carolina um, I think like we said before we have Def Leppard we have Sheffield Steel we have the football teams and we have Sean Bean from Game of Thrones. <laughs> uh, that, so that's that's basically what we're known for. In Sh oh, and the Full Monty, of course, we're known for the Full Monty. Um, so yeah, you might know us from Full Monty fame. Um, let me get some more white cardstock here. Well, I'm kind of playing crafty roulette in a way. Well, I guess my my stuff has been chosen for me. Um, as in you know it's it's um i basically didn't know what i was going to do until i started to do it why has that got a funny little mark in it oh i don't like that why is it doing that to me i don't want to use that bit it's a bit of a, a bit of a blemish in my card stuck there which is a bit odd so i love the idea of uh, of uh, card roulette though um we'll have to do we'll have to do a um something like that here i think one week if i could list out kind of a number of different like you say parameters and then spin a wheel i'll get ant to make me a wheel <laughs> that spins um and then we could spin the wheel oh 
thought I could make a wheel and use one of those um, oh maybe we could roll a dice um, instead of spinning a wheel we could roll a dice and have each bit with a number and whichever number comes up gets chosen that could be quite good oh you've given me an idea there I might have to have a think about that so what I will have to do so what I'm doing is I'm basically making now my um, almost my template if you like of what the demo is going to be like going to be based on so and I might make all of it I might just make some of it at this point um, <coughs> excuse me so it means I will probably have to make two pretty much of everything so as you can see I've done two of the um, of the white background oh hello there Maisie I was wondering when you'd come and fluff fluff along and say hello um, so I'm going to keep those to one side because I may have to cut those out again and I'm definitely going to be using these to do my background so I pop that to one side and this is going to be my card base so I'm going to make this into my card base I've got like a little um, scoring board here I'm going to use one of the um, the little guidelines on here to um, create my my lines so I'm just going to grab a little little scoring tool line up my my card and then here where that um, where that little um, corner bit is is that I'm just going to do a line straight across there and that makes it the perfect little fold then so that I can make my card base um, Julie says that she loved the square label dies for creating pockets in her portfolio for college and would make perfect pockets if you like scrapbooking that is such a good point they do make such good little pockets um, and Julie says if she wasn't going out this evening she thinks she would be crafting as the, boy, uh, as the boys are at their dad's until tomorrow lunchtime so a bit of perfect crafty time for mommy uh, <laughs> um, and uh, the ink garden spot says um, well have the beaches and mountains we're the home of the Wright Brothers first flight and we have lots of colleges and you're the furniture capital of the world well there you go I did not know that so and I didn't know the Wright Brothers came from there as well um, so you see we're learning so many things tonight not only we're we learning that I eat lots of sweets when I'm stressed but we're also learning about different parts of the world so I love that so you may be able to see I don't know if you can see on on screen because I don't know if the quality um, is that good on my, my little uh, my little um, budget camera that I use for for this purpose um, one day I will get high tech I'm not sure when that will be um, it's, uh, <laughs> I keep saying that we're going to get a bit more high tech around here but it just doesn't seem to happen because we don't have the time or the space but um, there is all fluff on the edges of my, um, my tape here and I wonder who might be responsible for that then Maisie so Maisie is just sat just here you can't see her you might be able to see a little paw you see the little paw there is that not the cutest thing that you've ever seen? So that little paw um, is just sat watching me um, so that she can eat all of my bits of uh, bits of paper that uh, I'm not using. <laughs> um, are you adorable? Mm, what's that one? What's this one? She knows I'm trying to trick her into putting a paw out. They're very cute. Oh, you've dropped it. You've dropped one. You'll have to get that one now. <laughs> you are so cute, aren't you? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. 
little paw. <laughs> um, so the ink garden spot says run to get the stamp set. It's Kitty Capers. I have all of your cat stamps. I love cats and yours is beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Maisie is gorgeous. She's she's actually quite the inspiration for some of my characters because she's very fluffy and very cute, aren't you? And then Mabel is the inspiration for the for the smooth haired cats, um, and she's very cute. So Mabel, little update on little poor little Mabel. She has um yeah she's got she's got some problems. Bless her. She's um. She's got a skin irritation. We don't know what it is or what's causing it. Bless her. Um, and it's uh, making her very, very sore because she, um, she, she's, well, she doesn't just scratch it now. She's actually taken to, to nibbling at it and, um, and pulling her fur out. So she's got a couple of ball patches. Bless her. We've taken us to the vet so many times. They don't know what it is. But she's on steroids and she's she's feeling much better now she's she's on the medication but yeah she's uh, she's made a little bit of a mess of herself hasn't she Maisie so I'm gonna use the um the confetti stencil then to make my background so I'm gonna start off with um with the background with just the normal background so we're going to be able to use this as well so that's the other good bit about this is that we are going to be able to use all of this so i'm going to go in with a bit of twisted citron first i think a bit of twisted citron um i probably should stick this down just in case you know cats decide to get involved Maisie's having a good little look can't you see what mischief she can create so I'm just going to randomly add a bit of colour here and there in some spots and while I'm making a nice pattern with the confetti I'm probably focusing more on what's going to be left on the stencil at this point because um, that's what we're going to use for our um, for our design. So a bit of pink, and don't worry if some of these colours mix on your background because it, it really doesn't matter. Um, it's all just going to add to the effect so a bit of pink and like I say I am more just interested in what the splodges of colour look like on my background do they look like they're uh, nicely evenly spread I've not even really been thinking about how much colour I'm pushing through those stencil um, gaps so this is going to look really cute and then the uh, other color that I think I'm going to use is a bit of blue um, I might not use any of the yellow I might just go in with the blue um, so a bit of blue over the gaps obviously that's going to make a bit of a purple color on my background when it mixes or a bit of a green color with the twisted citron a bit of a dark green but again I just want to get a good amount of blue in between some of these other colors so this is something that I'm going to demonstrate on the on the show it's not taking a lot of time to demonstrate so you know I'm thinking it's only taken me a couple of minutes so this one might be one that I can demonstrate fully rather than having it already pre-done or parts of it pre-done so let's see how this turns out shall we so you can see I've got a lot of colour there on to, on my um, on my stencil itself so this is the bit that uh, Maisie's going to find very exciting. Um, I just need to grab this. Um, 
So this is my little my little spray bottle and then we'll just lift up the stencil and you can see we've got a pretty um, little background there anyway with our um, with our confetti stencils created a cute little background but we've also got this little mosaic on here so this is my background piece that I want to use hello <laughs> And then I'm going to spray this. You won't like this. With some water. There we go. And let that sit on top there. On the top of my stencil. You can see that it's I don't know whether you can see that, that it's starting to move a little bit, the the um the ink starting to move a little bit. So now it's done that, we can turn this over on top of our piece of cardstock and po look, push that down and then rub over the top <laughs> what is it Maisie what we're we doing and hopefully this works <laughs> otherwise it'll be very embarrassing if we do this on live TV and it doesn't work Loving the oxides, lots of people loving the oxides. Julie says, Poor Mabel, Maisie is so cute, isn't she? Um, just got an idea for my double shake card challenge that I set, yes, which was staying in now, which I was staying in now to make it, but maybe I'll get a chance later, if not late in the morning. Um, and the paw is adorable. Hello, little paw. <laughs> um, I think the confetti is my second favourite of your stencils, Joe, with the dandelion being your favourite. She is trying to help, isn't she? So let's um let's try and lift this up carefully with my nails. Might need to use my pokey tool. So lift that up and oh my god, that looks so cute. So let's lift this up so you can see what the finished result is. Oh, I love that. How cute is that? And you can still see those little confetti pieces. But they look adorable, don't they? Love that. What do you think, Maisie? Do you like it? Don't, don't meow if you like it. I'm going to have a little sniff of it. <laughs> You're so cute. Right, so that is, that is a result. We love that. So I just need to clean this up. Obviously we can use this as well in another project. So I will definitely be taking that with me. Um, so I'm just going to cut this out because we can definitely use that for something. There is nothing that is wasted for definite. So I'll pop that there. Um, and we'll also keep bits of oh there we go that's for you Maisie obviously <laughs> so I just need um, my cloth here that Maisie is keeping warm for me so that we can clean up our stencil I'm gradually my working space is gradually getting smaller and smaller because Maisie's taking up more and more room <laughs> um, but she's literally just sat right next to me I don't move the camera um, in case I dislodge anything, but I would love to show you how she's just kind of sat looking. Shall we see if we can? I don't think I can actually move it too far. I'm thinking of a dislodge you. I'm actually not going to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to dislodge anything. Please tell me you can all still see me. Oh no, I've dislodged you. <laughs> I hope you can all still hear me. I knew that would happen. Apologies. Bear with me while I uh, reconnect you. One second. Oh dear. One second, we will just have to try and reconnect
can you still see, you can still see but nothing's moving is it so heavens oh here we go we're back we're back we're going to be back one second doesn't want to connect right we might be back in the room one second Can you see me now? No, oh, no. How annoying. Right, bear with me. We will. We'll try something else. One second. Hi. <laughs> you can see me. There we go. How's that? Ah, oh, there we go. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Right, so let me turn this one off. Bear with me while we just do a little bit of jiggery pokery. Um, there we go. Can you see me now? <laughs> um, I wanted to show you. I'm so sorry about that, but I knew that it would make a little bit of a weird situation. Can you still hear me okay? Um, <laughs> the things we try and do, eh? Um, so yeah, so I just want to make sure that you can hear me all right. Give me a shout if you can't hear me. Oh, good. Great tip, Joe says the crafting queen for spraying the stencil and putting onto another piece of card. We crafters all hate wasting anything. I also then use a wet paintbrush to clean the stencil and wipe that onto cardstock. What a great idea. Oh, I'm glad we came back. I'm sorry I couldn't show you it. She's actually sat, you know how they sit in their like little boats, like a little loaf. She sat like a little loaf at the edge of the, um, of the uh, craft mat here. Just watching me, aren't you? She, she, honestly, she's she's adorable because she the other the other cats, you know, they like to be around me. But she, when I'm in in my craft room and I'm in the office, she's here all the time. She absolutely loves to be around me. So she keeps me company, don't you, baby? So this was the plan. You see, was to have this gorgeous background and then we've got our little images here which we can just pop on there and then we'd also got these guys you see and then the sentiments of have a cool birthday um, and then you've got with you anything is popsicle um, here's the scoop it's your birthday and hope your day is sweet really love that so this is the the start of a card forming so that i think is going to be um my, my next kind of project so what i will do now so now i've got i've got those bits together let me just show you what i will do what i'll do next um and then i may have to go and actually do this mightn't i Maisie? we need a little um we need a little uh, clear envelope everything's okay everyone says that's good thank you so um sorry Maisie I made a bit of a noise there and uh, you moved moved away a bit didn't you can show us your paw again there you go <laughs> um so I get a little clear envelope like this um I usually use our bigger ones um, but I think they're all in use and I'll pop these in here ready to use so i will die cut these as well so that they're ready to use then what i will do is i will die cut an extra one and um, i will pop in this as being my clear piece this can be my scrap piece of cardstock for doing the original um bit on so the bit that we showed you where i did this i'll do that onto a scrap piece um, and then I'll do this it over the top of this piece. So they will go in there as well. So that's going to go in there ready to build, if that makes sense. It's 
that all goes in there like that and then we'll die cut these and then what I do with these guys so let's die cut these actually um, and work out what we're going to do with them so again I need my little die cutting my cute little die cutting machine and my plates here and I think we're going to use the sentiment have a cool birthday aren't we we decided so which one is that one I think that's that one isn't it yes but we might as well cut them all out while we're here because they will all fit through the machine at the same time so we've got that one we've got the hope your day is sweet here's the scoop it's your birthday and with you anything is popsicle and we'll pop that one there oh Maisie you are so sweet I can't believe you've come to keep me company with you anything is popsicle one of these sentiments could go on the inside even which would be really cute I do like putting a sentiment on the inside of my card um, your colouring is so great I missed that I'll watch the replay I'm trying to work on my colouring so the colouring I did actually do before we came on so you didn't miss that this time um, I prepped the um, images before we started the live um, and I made that I also popped them onto my my board that I will be taking onto the TV um, so I don't know if you saw that bit um, so I've not done any colouring today but I will be doing some colouring and there will be other videos that we've got where I do some colouring as well if you've not seen if you've um, if you look back I think we did some colouring last week actually didn't we I coloured in some cats I think I'm pretty sure I did <laughs> so let's pop that through the machine what do you think to that Maisie <laughs> she didn't like that very much did you she thought it was going to to pop out of the machine at her um, so we'll cut all of these out ready um, so let's get these cut out so the key, the key really um, for the TV is getting things done, uh, prepped as much as you possibly can um, in the short time you've got. So I very rarely do I get a chance to do any colouring in on TV, um, which is a shame because that is one of my favourite things to do, but you just don't get the opportunity to do it. Um, so... Um, and I don't, I don't generally like to do a lot of die cutting on TV because, again, it takes up a lot of time. It's quite noisy, unless I've got my little little machine, which I do like to use my little machine on TV because that doesn't to take a lot of time and it doesn't um, make a lot of noise. So um, I tend to do most of my larger bits of die cutting, like the, um, the ones here. I'll do that at home beforehand um, so that that's already pre die cut so again it's kind of here's one I die cut earlier and there's kind of an assumption that most people know how to use a die cutting machine um, I know we probably shouldn't assume that because not everybody will have used a die cutting machine before but um, again there are shows that are specifically for that I guess which you know because our shows are about not really about the they're not about the the machine or um as such um although obviously the machine is is essential to being able to use your, your uh, dies um we let the other I guess the other companies cover that um well we do the we do the fun bit <laughs> um 
so the ink garden spot says oh she'll have to check that out um, and one of my cats is fascinated when paper comes out of the printer oh really um Maisie is very um noise adverse aren't you although she doesn't actually mind she doesn't really seem to be bothered by the noise of the die cutting machine and the gemini is very noisy really i think oh it's, it's hard life isn't it she's just had a little stretch bless her um yeah it's, i think it's quite a, a noisy machine but she doesn't really seem to be bothered by that she's also not too bothered by by my heat tool um she doesn't really worry about that but she hates the hairdryer it's weird isn't it she she absolutely hates the hairdryer but she doesn't mind the heat tool she doesn't mind the um die the, the the gemini uh bless her she doesn't like the um the hoover and she hates the tumble dryer oh my goodness the tumble dryer is like some evil monster in uh, in our laundry room isn't it oh she's gone now she's got bored she says you're talking about me now so i'm going <laughs> she didn't she didn't stay to see the final results because there wasn't enough paper flying around for her to poke at so let's have a look I mean, I just love the way that, that the, all those sentiments look against that, that patterned background. looks really cute. So I am going to get this back out now because even though I put it away, I just want to see. I'll give you an idea of roughly how this could look. So we've got the sentiment, have a cool birthday. Um, and I might even have potentially done that in a, a black with a white... Um, ink you know um with some embossing ink but uh, for the purposes of the show we're not going to do that because again that's another technique that we're not going to get time to to demonstrate so we could have our little um little van there with a little critter this way we've got this critter this way like so so we could do do it like that or we could do just the the ice cream van which would look very cute and nice and simple um wouldn't it so that would be quite a cute one that one I think I might keep it quite simple because that is, um, you know, it does make it easy to create, recreate. Or you could have had all three of your little guys in the middle there. But I think it does work better with the ice cream van. So I think for the purposes of this, we're going to go ice cream van only in the middle. So let me just pop all of my dies back on here because I hate, I hate not putting them back because then I lose them. So that's all of those back. So these guys we'll probably use for something else now, now we've die cut them. But these are the, these are the ones that we're going to use for this particular demonstration so in order to have these set up and ready what I will probably do actually because I want to pop this up is get some foam tape on here ready so this is one that we've completed so this is going to be one a little bit um, a case of here's one we prepared earlier so that goes there that can go there and oh they they all love the scan and cut <laughs> four cats and one is turning 19 oh i love that um 
So um, again, those of you that have been around for a while will know that uh, my little boy Clyde was 20 when he passed away and he was my my angel, um, you know, the I guess the the furry furry love of my life. Um, I miss him every single day. Um, I do. He was my he was my world. We lived we lived alone together for a long time. Well, um, I say alone. It was him and his sister, but she passed away um, quite a while before he did. Um, so um, so yeah, he was he was around for for a good amount of years. Bless him. He was, and he had, um, and he spent the last five years of, of that without, with only three legs, bless him. Um, so he did, he did so well. Um, but yeah, he's my, my little angel. So have a cool birthday. I want to pop that up as well. So I'm going to grab some of my shaker at here as well. So we'll get some of this together. So the Ink Garden Spot says, so sorry to hear that. It's so hard to lose our fur babies. Houdini is older than my kids. Houdini, oh my God, what a fabulous name. I love that so much. Well, lots of furry hugs for Houdini for being a trooper. Um, he sounds sounds awesome. Um so now I'm going to just grab, uh, I'm just having a little think what I've done with, with it. So this is a little little um, kind of trick that I've come up with for prepping for my shows. So um, you, as you probably know, we, we do pack all of your orders ourselves and we print off all of the labels ourselves and we do do everything from from uh, here and HQ. So the labels that we use for our addresses that we print off come on this kind of shining backing and these this is the bit that's left over, the sticky bit that's left over. So I keep um, a lot of the, the backing sheets when I come across them because they're perfect for prep for the shows. So what I do is I take my little piece that I've pre foam taped and then I stick this to the shiny surface of the backing sheet. What that means now is that when I come to use this on TV, I don't have to take all the bits off the back and fiddle about with them. I can just literally take it straight off this backing sheet and it's good to go. So what I will do is for this one, I'm also going to use my little, um, get my little ice cream van on here as well. So ice cream van already pre-foam taped and good to go and then my sentiment is also pre-foam taped and good to go so these are all ready now for me to use and then I'll just cut off the bit that I'm going to use I don't need that bit so we've got this bit here this is my um, my card base that we've made so that's that and then this was the little envelope that we've started to put together with all of the elements that we're going to use so we'll put the card base in there so that's good to go and then we're going to pop this in there as well so that's all good to go so that is essentially the um, the first demo in its little envelope ready to go. So I'm happy with that. I think we think we've accomplished quite a lot there. Um, you can see the time that we've taken. It's taken me an hour and a half there with you near enough to put together this demo, put together a backing sheet. I've got two more demos to prep this evening. Um, 
so hopefully we can get that all done quite quickly now um otherwise i'm going to be up all night but thank you for helping me with that thank you for chatting with me um, and keeping me company what before i had a stress um so um yeah i feel much more confident like i say now we've got one under under our belts the other two should be much easier to do shouldn't they so so yeah so that's a little bit of kind of the the behind the scenes process for how we prep a demo if you want to see me put the demo together fully and see what the end result looks like and what the other two demos end up looking like then please do watch me on um sunday the channel on uh, sky is 670 but you can watch it online so if you search for hobby maker tv they you can watch it online um anywhere in the world so um you don't have to have a tv you know uk tv channels in order to access it so if you wanted to watch it from the states or wherever you are um you can do um just find hobby maker tv um and find their website and there's um the the watch uh tv um option on there so yeah that's three o'clock on sunday um Julie's full of ideas. Um, she said um, she's going to cut about had an idea about cutting the shape out of a layer, done the inky background onto to make shaker elements with hundreds and, th and thousands bits in. That would be so cool as well. I love that. I love that when you start doing something like this, that there's a million other ideas that come on the back of it as well. It's not just the one idea, is it? So, um, so yes, yeah, so that's really really cool. Um, uh, oh, I love that you're you're catching up about your kitty cats. I love that we're all we're all a cat family, um, and hugs to all of the fur babies. Um, thank you, Annalisa, for your support. Um, and thank you um, to the to all of you for watching. But thank you for all of your support um, and uh, for all of your kind words and for getting me through this uh, this first. This uh, first little creative hump that I needed to get over, I am going to go and I think I'm going to go and make myself a cup of tea, um, just have a little break from it for five minutes and then I will come back um, and we'll get the rest of it done um, and hopefully get to bed at a reasonable time. Um, Yes, Annalisa, you watch it from Canada, don't you, online? So it's good that you can watch it anywhere, which I think that's that's so much better. Um, and they do ship worldwide as well if you wanted to buy things um, from them as well. So if you saw anything on there that, you know, you like the look of. Um, Crafty Queen says that Hobby Maker is now also on Virgin TV on channel 754, which I did know, but I didn't know what channel it was. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much for letting people know that because not everybody has Sky, do they? Um, and it means you can see it on a larger screen, which is also ideal. Um, all the better to see your technique with your amazing blender brushes and your colouring. Oh, thank you. That's really lovely. Yeah, that, that I mean, that is in HD. So, yeah, it's not very forgiving. Hence the reason why I need to have my roots done before Sunday. <laughs> uh, Julie says, wow, well, loved watching this. Hope to watch Sunday. Got to get ready to leave now. Take care all and you'll be fantastic, Joe. Always amazing. Oh, thank you so much, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. If you can't make it on Sunday, you can watch it, I think, afterwards. I think they replay it for a while online. Um, and I'll be back here again next Friday for um, a, a normal a normal crafting live, I think, next week. We'll try and do a normal one. <laughs> um, and the Ink Garden Spot says, will Oops A Daisy be back in stock soon? Great question. Um, so I have literally just put an order in. Um, for Oops A Daisy and it should be back in um, the end of this month is what they've given me a date of um, so look out uh, if you've signed up to the newsletter or you've put it on your um, on your wish list um, you should be notified um, early early May end of April depending on uh, how they uh, how quickly they get onto that so Oops A Daisy has been literally one of the mo our most sold out sets i can't keep 
can't keep those little cute little cats and their daisies in stock so um so yeah so we've got an order coming um, and hopefully they'll be with us really soon but thank you thank you for asking um and i'll uh, i shall see you all really soon guys thank you so much for today um i'll see you all later bye